Hi guys, this is KS, Engineering Director at SH Scientific. We're a 40-year-old laboratory equipment manufacturer specializing in precision testing and processing equipment for R&D and commercial labs. Today, I'm excited to introduce our MG series, which is the next tier of our basic MGE series of muffle furnaces. The MG is our most universally used line, and it operates at temperatures up to 1200 degrees Celsius. It comes in four sizes, which are three, five, 14 or 27 liters. All four sizes have the same digital controller with temperature stability of plus or minus one degree Celsius. Today, I'm going to feature the five liter version. By the way, we do have 1500 and 1800 degree high temperature options. Outside of this MG line, the most economical 1050 degree option. And we have vacuum muffle furnaces for vacuum brazing and sintering under gas atmosphere. So if you are looking for a high temperature option or basic range as well as vacuum furnace, then just let us know what you need. As you see, our MG series has heating element at all four sides of the chamber. To start, insert the heating plate on the bottom and place your samples on it. The plate protects the heating element on the bottom from liquid sample and piling ash during your experiment. Head ups! We recommend you to run this at 1000 degrees or below as normal operating temperature. It can reach up to 1100 degrees or even to 1200 degrees. But it is not ideal considering the durability. All our muffle furnaces have an exhaust port on top. So remember to open it if your sample will produce volatile gases or fumes during processing. You can connect a pipe for venting. Next, turn on the main power switch. Temperature on top is the current temperature inside the chamber, and temperature on the bottom is your setting temperature. Now we're ready to set the time and temperature. To enter the temperature settings, press the mode button twice. Then, set your temperature like this. I'm choosing 700 degrees Celsius for now. Next, press the mode button twice to save your temperature and move on to time settings. Time settings tell the furnace how long to maintain the temperature we just selected. They do not include heating or cooling time. You can select up to 99 hours and 59 minutes in one minute intervals. Four zeros will set an infinite time limit, so be careful not to use that setting by accident. I am choosing 10 minutes for now. By the way, you'll hear a beep like this when the time is up. Here's how to set the duration of that beep. All the digits here are second, not hour, nor minute. I am choosing 110 seconds. When you're satisfied with the temperature and time settings, press the power button. You'll see that run out one and out two are all illuminated. Look, what happens if you open the door while it runs? Our MG series has a door limit switch at the left bottom part and the furnace stops heating when the door is opened. No worries, it resumes heating when the door is closed. Your setting temperature will keep blinking until it reaches to the setting temperature. All of our furnaces have a neat troubleshooting feature called auto-tuning. It uses PID controls to automatically optimize the output of the heater and keep it from overshooting your target temperature. You can run auto-tuning either while or before running the furnace. Just click AT button and it will activate. 
It is better to try auto-tuning when you use the furnace for the first time, or you change the location of the furnace. If you encounter overshooting or temperature fluctuation, then this feature will solve your problem easily. Look how quickly it gets to the setting temperature. We're just 23 minutes in, and it's already at 700 degrees Celsius. Now, the setting temperature is not blinking, which tells us it's up to temperature, and the heater is going to stay right at this level. Obviously, safety is a concern around anything this hot, but our MG furnaces are double well insulated, so that they're actually safe to touch while running. It's only about 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Time is up, so run, out one, and out two are all off. And the beep alert has started. I will open the door to show how the inside the chamber looks like. How beautiful it is. You can press the power button one last time to stop the beep and shut off the furnace. That's the MG Furnace line in a nutshell. And I hope this demo has helped you picture the role it could play in your lab. Thanks for watching, and on behalf of the whole SH team, we look forward to being of service.